Hi, this is Rick from uh, Doomsday Tank Models. Going to give you another segment of some stuff I find interesting, and I hope you do too. So um, we're going to get into uh, link and length tracks that have the pin injector marks, and what I just discovered helps me out a lot. And if you happen to like it, I hope it helps your uh, modeling life as well. You already know that I have a preference for metal tracks, but there's just, in my scale that I like for Armor 148, that sometimes you just don't have that choice. You only have that choice in German and Soviet Armor or World War II. Uh, that, that's it. And that, lucky to have that. Thanks to Master Club, thanks to Fruit Model Tracks for having those available for those who love uh, 148 Armor. So... I just want to show you a few things. I just got something in the mail today that was a new release from Tamiya. I'm sure other modelers have um, have talked about it, and I'm just going to get right into it. So this is the uh, the new Tamiya U.S. House for Motor Carriage M8, and it looks really cool. I've, I've checked. You can see other unboxing things. I just want to show you the box art because that's why, really why we all buy these models, don't we? <laughs> we fall in love with the box art and we just can't help ourselves. So I just got this email today. I decided that's going to be my next build. And Lord help me because I, I need to do painting. But I'm, I'm doing this again. Okay, so getting to the uh, pin injector marks. Um, I just... I, I just had a with with the model I had to do. I had to deal with the pin injector marks. Sometimes you just don't have a choice, and it's either sand them or fill them and sand them. But most of us don't want those holes showing. And I'm sure you can see if I can just get it to right there. You, it's a, just a perfect circle pin injector mark to get them out of the molds and as modelers we deal with it and we're happy to we don't care so i just i just found a little something here hopefully i get this on camera i'm using um vms flexi glue and it is there if i can just get you to focus that would be good wouldn't it um it's their it's their thin formula so you want, if you're going to use this technique, you're going to want the thin. There you go. You learn how to focus. So it's the black thin. And black is 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 very good for, um, for your, um, your glues, your instant bonders. Um, you can see things that you need to sand. So it, it's great um, to have that stand out. And black thin really works well. And let's just get into it. So we got this, um, got these pin injector marks of so just a perfect circle. And if I can get this to work on camera, that would be wonderful for everybody, wouldn't it? So you get yourself a nice little blob. And I didn't get quite enough on there. Now it's probably going to be too much, but it's not a big deal. And you see you get it to a perfect circle just like that. And sometimes you can get it so good, it's just, it, you don't even, it looks like you don't even have to sand it. And it's just... Um, I think it's better than putties or anything like that. For me, anyway, it worked out really, really well yesterday. I wish I would have filmed that, but I didn't. So I'm just going to make a mess of my workbench and show you. I'm going to spray some of this InstaSet, which I've showed you before. And let's see how that stuff just, 
it gets everywhere. But you know, it, it really, it bonds pretty darn well. And if you, if you get your, you get it really well, that will make the perfect circle. You won't have much sanding to do. I wish I could have made that uh, a little neater for you. you. You get the, you get the gist though. And these also I wanted to show you, I have different size wires I put in pin vices, small, small to medium, large, and a pin uh, one that it just, I used it to settle barrels if I have to drill something out. So it's just, um, it's different uh, gauges of wire. Man, I love what my camera focuses on. There we go. So it's just different gauges of wire, needles. That helps me. And I wanted to show you something really cool. So I started, I don't know where how I found this. I would just mess around on, on uh, Google. And I found this, which I didn't know. It's an IS-2 turret, looks like to me. And I don't know if you can, this is, I'll just kind of switch to that one. It's, it looks like a T-55 suspension. And I did some further reading on this. There's a couple of videos on YouTube that will tell you they were messing around with replacing the T-34-76. Now we all know they went to the T-34-85. Before that, though, they were messing around with this suspension, which looked really cool. And this is uh, World of Tanks. I love getting ideas from them. So you can see that suspension better. And also, they played around with uh, the turret but using the 90 millimeter gun, excuse me, 85 millimeter gun. So they decided to go with neither. My understanding, and I'm sure there's more knowledgeable people out there that may see this. My understanding is that they had mechanical difficulties still battling the Germans. They didn't have time to deal with this when they had a tried and true uh, T-34-76 suspension, and they just found a way to put what we know is the T-3485, and that's what they went with. I was very excited about that because I had a T-55 tank that uh, I had. I was not excited about building it. I don't anything post World War II. I'm just not excited about it. They're tanks, and they they deserve their their, their time in the sun. I just would rather do World War II than anything else. So. This this was the suspension that I decided to marry with an IS-2 leftover out of my parts box. And I really like it. I can't wait to get some paint on it. And I've got so many models in front of this one to do. But I just don't care. <laughs> I'm probably going to move this in front of it and, and go off from there. And I don't know if I noticed too, I use these little caps from gallon jugs of water. I don't know if I've ever, so I made myself a little station uh, with some temporary tack behind it for use it for different things. And I've got a whole, as you can see, jar full of them. And I still, when you look in these things, I'm using every side of it before I will throw it away. So I, it's all about getting those things completely used. I, I don't want to waste a thing, but I just, I just really like how this turned out. Really uh, want to see what you guys think of it in the comments. Really appreciate your comments. Thank you for all my subscribers, by the way. I believe last time I looked, I was at uh, 84, something like that. It, it may sound modest, but to me it means a lot uh, that you guys are following my channel such as it is, and I hope it's some content that you really enjoy. So yesterday I did uh, the tracks on this. They turned out pretty well. And then I glued it together. We we're having a Super Bowl party on Sunday, and a friend of mine really likes the armor that I do. And I just wanted to have something to show him. So got this together. Also, I don't know if you can see it on the camera or not. But I made some uh, wood grain out of these boxes. They come very smooth. Uh, you can check the, the smooth 
in one of the storage cabinets there how the smooth plastic is. I roughed it up so it looks like wood texture. And you just do that with one of these tools right here. You just use the end of it. Man, it really doesn't want to focus sometimes. But it's like a it's like a dental tool that you uh you can use. It's got a end to it there. There you go. Just scratch it up a little bit and then you just get a little glue and gently brush it. Don't get a whole bunch of glue on the brush. Get as much off of it as you can and then do a cleanup swipe and you'll see the tiny bits of plastic just melt off and you'll really, I think you'll really like the effect. Try it on something you don't care about and, and see if you can get it to work the way you want it to. Anyway, that was just a few and Hopefully you um, in, enjoyed that. Steady my camera. Such a nerd. Anyway, so there's a lot of things I still want to cover, and I hope you guys still want to watch them. Having this uh, tank come in the mail today, um, how was her? Really exciting. The figure's new. Everything's re uh new new tooling on this so there's nothing that's redone it's all new and that's very very uncommon for tame it usually they'll marry it with something that that's older with some new stuff which is fine because it works out great this one is all new tooling as far as i know there's there's nothing in here maybe the 50 cal machine gun that kind of thing but the main parts of the vehicle very exciting that they have this out um, and thank you to Jazz Hobby in Hong Kong, which is the first one that had a very good price on it. It's just around $30 with shipping on eBay. So if you're interested, they got it to me in two weeks. And that was with uh, the Chinese New Year, Year of the Rabbit. And he delayed it two or three days, and I still got it in two weeks. So he's really good. Anyway, thank you so much for, for watching my my channel. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe. I would love to get more viewers and I love the feedback and I, I, I thank you all that you've done for me. I just really enjoy doing this thanks to you guys. So thank you very much. You have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.